If you want to hit home runs when it comes to funnel performance, our latest feature is sure to turn you into an upsell all-star. It's one-click upsells new trigger conditions logic. Now, recognizable triggers like products, product variants, and collections can be customized through conditions where you include or exclude parameters. Plus, we added three new triggers, item quantity, total value, and customer tag. The item quantity and total value triggers allow you to set objectives like more than, less than, equal to, and others based on your exact specifications, while the customer tag trigger initiates a funnel based on tags added to the customer profile in Shopify. You can even stack these conditions for even more funnel optimization and targeted customer upselling. If I've lost you anywhere, don't worry. I'm going to walk you through each trigger type and share a few examples on how you can use them. Leading off with the product trigger. Use this option to select a single product or a number of products. This option will include all of the product variants by default. If you want to get even more specific, you can choose the product variant trigger to initiate a funnel based on a particular variant selected for a product. Both trigger options are useful for creating product specific funnels. For instance, if you want to upgrade the cart by swapping out a particular product with a bundle or upsell based on the size or color selected. On deck is the collections trigger. If you're running a sale for a particular collection or want to offer complementary products based on collections, this option would allow you to create an independent funnel solely for customers who purchase from that group of products. Batting cleanup is the any product trigger. This trigger recognizes every product in your store and their variants as trigger products. This trigger is great for when you only have a few products in your store and a universal upsell will work just fine, or use this as a catch-all at the bottom of your priority list to include any products that aren't set to trigger a higher priority funnel. The next two triggers are items quantity and total value. These triggers can be tailored to perform around a base value. For example, when working with item quantity, you can add a set quantity and base the trigger potential on if the total number purchased is more than, less than, equal to, or not equal to that amount. Let's say you want to upsell customers who bought five items or more in your store. You would then set the condition to more than or equal to and set the value at five. This same logic also goes for total value. Total value represents the total value of the cart. So if you want to upsell customers based on how much they're spending per order, this is the best choice for you. Finally, let's stand and tip our caps for our seventh trigger, customer tag. With this, you can create a condition to show or hide an upsell funnel based on customer tags added by you in the Shopify admin. Just go to the customer section in Shopify, locate your customer and add your desired tag. When you go to create your condition in OCU, the tags will be dynamically generated to choose from. Suppose you add an MVP customer list. With this trigger, you can create a custom tag and tag those MVP customer profiles to have them presented with their own special funnel. Now that we've covered all the trigger types and their conditions, it's time to talk about what makes them extra special, and that's their logic and stacking ability. Within each condition, there are OR rules that can be added to it. This will add another trigger to your condition where if either objective is met, the funnel will initiate. Say if you wanted to initiate a funnel for multiple collections, you can add the additional collections here. The next piece of the trigger conditions logic is the AND rule. When using this rule, all conditions should be true to make the upsell funnel initiate for the customer. Use the AND condition if you want to set up a funnel to trigger based on a combination of products. Like if product A and product B both need to be in the cart for the complementary upsell to make sense. You also have the option to exclude products from each condition. When using the product, product variant, or collections trigger, you can switch the variable to is not. For example, you want to show an offer to all products in a particular collection except for one product. Add that product to the second condition to exclude it from the trigger without having to make any changes to your Shopify collection. When you're done with your conditions and you've covered all your bases, save your work and move on to finishing the upsell funnel. That's it. If you feel like you've been striking out, then it's time to call in a pitch hitter like OCU and let the MVP trigger conditions logic hit a grand slam for you. Want to stay up to date with all the new releases? Look for the What's New section of the OCU app to see the entire feature release history. This is where we'll announce the new trigger conditions when they're ready, including both shipping and discount code trigger options. We look forward to sharing more news and updates about these with you in the upcoming months. If you're a one-click upsell user, please help us to connect with other all-stars like you by leaving us an honest review in the Shopify app store. Not using OCU just yet? 
Then take advantage of the free trial today by going to Zipify.com. I'm Brittany. Thanks for watching.